In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a combination switch located on the steering column on a Jeep Wrangler. Take the lower steering wheel column cover right off. You're going to take a Phillips screwdriver. You have one right here. Slide it up. It's probably about two and a half inches up in there. And then you got one on the other side. If you have a tilt steering wheel, you're going to pull this tilt handle down to access the bottom cover to let it slide off easy. One on the other side. Let's take this. Once these two screws are out, you're going to take these little rubber boots. There's one on this side for the turn signal. There's one on the other side for the wiper. And then you have the ignition lock and the button right here. So you're going to want to pull out past that. Let it slide past that little button. Now you have the bottom cowl. Set it aside. Now that the bottom cover cowl's out, you can grab the top, pull up past that hazard button switch, and pull forward, just like that. Set that aside. There's two top mounting screws, and they're Torx bit, so it's a T20. You reverse these, take these right out. Second one over here. Now you can wiggle that out from the little ears and we're gonna to have to disconnect the electrical connectors in order to get that switch out. So this side tab is a gray tab and it's got a red lock on it. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, slide that lock out and you can push down on the tab and pull that harness out, just like that. And then on the wiper side is the same kind of gray tab and it's got a, black, a red lock. So you're gonna push that out with a flathead screwdriver, push down on that tab, and pull that connector off. Now you're gonna wanna take a flathead screwdriver, and this is a relay, like a flasher relay. So you're gonna wanna get on the back side of it here and pry it off so that you can pull this straight up. Let's get that relay right out of the way. Just lift it right up out of there. Set it aside. Now you can grab your combination switch and lift it up. Just pull it right out. So here we have the old combination switch with the wiper switch attached to it. We have to transfer that wiper switch over to this new combination switch. So you'll see two bolt holes right here and they are located right there. And that's a T10. It's a Torx bit 10. So we're going to put that on there, take those two off. And then it's just going to slide like this, this way. So we need that. And here is our old combination switch. The only thing I'm going to do is take my rubber dust boot, peel it right off, discard that, take my new combination switch and put this dust boot right on, Just like so. And I'm going to take my old wiper switch and line it up. See that plastic tab right there? It's going to go in the groove and there's one on the back. Slide it till it locks in. I'm going to take my two mounting screws. Start them by hand. And then snug them up. Using that T10. Just get, let it firmly snug. It is all plastic, so we don't want that to break. Now we're ready to reinstall it. Okay, now we can take a combination switch, bring it back around, slide it down past that dash, and then just let it fall right into place, just like that. 
Now with it firmly in place, I'm going to grab my relay, that flasher relay, and I'm going to reinstall it. And that's going to be with these tabs like that. So you want the tab at noon to be horizontal and vertical at six. Because you can't really see back there, so you're going to know how to line it up. You'll feel it fall right into place and then push it firmly into place. Now I'm going to do my switch on this side. And that's the wiper side. There we go. Push it till it clicks and push that little red tab right in. So now we're going to the actual turn signal and headlight switch. And we're going to put this switch connector in, line it right up, push it till it clicks. Now you can hear that clicking already. That means that this relay, the four-way flasher is on. And that's pretty common. Push that safety lock in, that red tab. Now we're ready to mount those two top screws. That's that T20. Just snug it up. Once it stops, get an eighth of a turn. Same on this side. Now we're ready to put our top cowl on. So now I'm going to slide the top steering wheel cover down right over that hazard switch. Let's get that sleeve out of the way. Right over that hazard button. I'm going to try to fit my rubber boot in. Just like that. You'll see the little grooves it has that rides in. And then I'm going to do the same on the driver's side. You just want to snap that little clip right in the plastic, like that. So you take the lower plastic cowl, you're going to have to put it on the ignition switch side first. Line up that, just like that. Make sure your rubber piece is locked in on both. Push that up till it snaps, just like that. Now we go to the other side and do the same thing. So now you're on the left side of it. Bring it up and put those two pins, make them clip in. Now we're gonna take one lower Phillips screw with a Phillips screwdriver and put it in place. I'm just holding so that the, the plastic clips don't come undone. You can feel it bottom out, snug it up. We have one more for that side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.